All right, guys, so I wanted to do a video about all in-wall speakers are not created equally. I want you to see what you get for your money, that when you spend more money on a good in-wall product, just like a box product, you get a better speaker. So I got two examples here on the extreme cases. I have a Paradigm. We reviewed these several years ago. I think that it's the SA25. These are like $1,000 a pair in-wall speakers, really heavy-duty speaker. And I've got these Dayton Audios. These are like contractor series. They're like 60 bucks a pair. Big difference in price. And what do I see here just by picking it up? This one I could actually do an arm workout with. This one I could literally do wrist curls with all day long. There's a lot of difference in the weight between these two products. This product has a metal baffle on the front. This one's plastic. The driver quality is incomparable. I mean, look at the size of the motor structure. I could barely hold this up, it's so heavy. The magnet on this woofer, on this Paradigm, is much larger, much bigger motor force. A cast basket, it's heat synced for heat dissipation. The tweeter itself has a heat sink on the magnet. And it's got very high quality crossover components. And then this guy, he's got a stamped basket, a very small motor structure on it. Tiny tweeter, tiny magnet, you know, smaller parts, just not as elaborate of a design. The other thing I notice about quality of in walls is the brackets. The mountain bracket on the Paradigm is superior. And um, you can see that it has separate brackets on the left and right instead of just one solid bracket. This was actually a harder speaker to install. This required a bigger opening in the drywall because you couldn't move it around inside the hole like you could with this. You had much more flexibility in installing the speaker. Now, I'm not trying to disparage the Dayton Audio. I think for the money, it's very hard to beat a speaker like this for 60 bucks a pair or whatever they sell for. But it's just to show you that when you spend more money, you get better quality. Like on this example, you have a much better tweeter with a waveguide, so it controls the directivity and the dispersion of the speaker, so it matches better with the woofer. And this is an aluminum cone woofer with a real phase plug, as you can see here. And that helps prevent beaming on the, on the woofer itself, so it just gives you better dispersion on the woofer. The breakup modes are more controlled on a, on a speaker like this that has a stiffer cone with a really nice damp surround on it. So there's just a lot of differences here that I wanted you guys to see. Just because you don't see the product because it's in the wall and it's covered with a grill, the stuff that matters is what's behind the grill. And as you can see, the difference between this speaker, the Paradigm, versus the budget Dayton Audio speaker. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please thumb it up. Make sure you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. And until next time, my friends, keep listening. The magnet on this woofer. I can't see that.